Hi, we're Mark and Jessica Yates from Surprise, Arizona. Mark's a software engineer and I'm a stay-at-home mom. Jessica and I have definitely had our ups and downs in finances over the years. We've had some really tight, lean times and we've also had some times where money's been coming in and pay raises, bonuses, and stock grants. Unfortunately, as we seem to have made more money, we just seem to spend it faster than it come in. In fact, we we found ourselves basically relying on next year's bonus and stock grants just to make ends meet. Unfortunately, those stock grants ended last year, and we found ourselves with over $100,000 in debt over and above our mortgage, and I just didn't know how we were going to make ends meet. Over the years, I always let Mark handle the finances because he always seemed to be better at it than I was. I always made left the final decision of a big purchase to him because he was in charge of the money. Unfortunately, I'm sure that put a whole lot more stress on his shoulders as I never participated in big decisions. I watched over the years and become more and more stressed about finances, but never talked about it and never asked what I could do to help. I began to realize that I was just terrible at managing money and I, I didn't know why. It didn't make sense. I, I'm fairly intelligent. I've done well in school, I've done well in work, I had a basic understanding of economics. But I still found myself struggling with finances and struggling in prayer, pleading for help, and, and confessing that I just hate money. I just don't know how to deal with it, what to do with it. And I was resolved that I would never understand it and that things just wouldn't get better. One day while we were reading scriptures as a family, we came across a verse in Isaiah chapter 5, verse 13, and it starts like this. Therefore, my people are gone into captivity because they have no knowledge. I realized that that's the position that I was in. I, we were in this financial captivity because I didn't have the proper knowledge on how to manage my finances. At that time, we were introduced to the financial fitness program by a good friend. He invited us to a home meeting where they, there was a presentation. And during that entire presentation, I was sitting there thinking, I don't want to buy anything. I don't want to buy anything from them. I can't afford it. Um, the information that they're sharing, I already know this. It doesn't work for me. So when they started asking us what we thought at the end of the presentation, I was ready to tell them. And I was resolved to say, no, I don't want anything. But I, I got a thought. And that thought was, well, well, why not? Why not give it a try? And so I thought about, you know, they're asking only $120 for this green box. Heaven knows I've thrown $120 away on worse things. So I figured, well, let's give it a try. And I'm so glad that we did because once I got into it, I found that the financial fitness program was the answer to my prayers. I went ahead and along with the buying the purchase, uh, green box, hoping that it would help give Mark some stress relief, but I didn't think it would benefit me personally because I was not in charge of our finances. The day after the open meeting, I opened that box and I started listening to the CDs. As I did, it opened my eyes and I realized that I had found the information and the knowledge that I needed to improve not only our finances, but our entire life. I also read the entire book the next week on a business trip. When I got back from that trip, Jessica and I did something that we just never do as a couple. We sat down and we talked about our finances. And using the principles that we found in the program, we found a way to free up over $500 a month. Inspired by Mark's enthusiasm, I finally decided to listen to all the CDs as well. And I loved the information that was shared. I was so grateful when he got home from his business trip that we could finally be, sit down and be on the same page as our finances and actually have a conversation to address them together. In addition to helping us play defense with our finances, we're also learning how to play offense. The rest of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 13 says, And their honorable men are famished, and their multitude dried up with thirst. Again, I realized that, that this is a position I was in. I was thirsting for knowledge. I was thirsting for answers, but I didn't know where to find them. I found that information in the financial fitness program. I found an oasis of information and I just can't get enough of it. I've never been more confident in our financial future. I'm learning every day now how to improve myself and I actually believe that we'll be able to achieve the life that we hoped for. Well, it's not only helped us financially, but I'm even more confident in our marriage relationship and I'm looking forward to growing closer to each other as we sit down and work on our finances together something we are just learning how to do. 
This program has been an answer to my prayers, and I'm immensely grateful that we gave it a chance. I highly recommend that you give it a try and find out for yourself. If you do, give it a try and, you, and it helps you even half as much as it's helped us, it'll be well worth it.